do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right. God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right That is called the playground. Have you ever been to a playground? It's so fun. Anything is possible. Like over there are the swings or are these swinging vines in a jungle? Over there is a climbing wall. Or is it the tippy top of the highest mountain in the world? See what I mean? Anything is possible on the playground. There is so much to imagine. And so much play to be played! But today, we are playing Hopscotch! Have you ever played that game? It's so fun! You take a piece of chalk and you make your course. Sometimes it's made with squares, but you can do any shape you want. As long as your feet can fit inside. And as long as you can get from one shape to the next. You can put numbers inside the shapes, or letters, anything, or nothing. Whatever you want. And then you start at one place in the course. And you hop, hop, hop until you get to the end. My friend Jada made this course for me a couple days ago. It's great, but it's hard. When you get to the nine circle, it says spin. That means you're supposed to spin around before hopping again. I can't make it past that part. I always fall. Have you ever tried and tried at something that was really hard? I'm not going to give up. Here I go! Alright, here comes the spin! Ah! Ouch! <sighs> I'm okay, I think. I bumped my knee. Wowzers, that hurt. Mm. I really want to finish this hopscotch course. I really, really do. But I don't want to bump my knee again. Because that hurt. What should I do, friends? I'm gonna try again. But before I do, I'm gonna pray. It might seem kinda goofy to pray before hopscotch, but it's not. God cares about me, and I care about this. God, I'm kinda scared to try this hopscotch course again. I really wanna do it, but I don't wanna fall down. Will you help me, God? Amen. Maybe our Bible story for today will help me too. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1. There was a woman named Hannah who had no children. Her husband's other wife did have children. She teased Hannah a lot for not being able to have children. This made Hannah very sad. Every year, the family would visit the temple, which is like a church, in a place called Shiloh. Hannah was teased by her husband's other wife so much that she cried a lot. She prayed to God. She asked God to give her a son. She promised that she would give her son back to God. She said her son would serve God for his whole life. Eli was a priest. He was in charge of that temple. He saw Hannah, but did not think she was praying. Eli went over to her and she explained why she was sad. Eli comforted her. He prayed that God would answer her prayers. Soon, Hannah became pregnant. She had a baby boy and named him Samuel. Hannah brought Samuel to that temple in Shiloh when Samuel was very young. She found Eli and told him that Samuel was the child she had prayed for. God had answered her prayer, so she would keep her promise. She told Eli that she was giving Samuel to God so he could grow up in the temple, listening to God and doing what God says. Eli thanked God when he heard this. Hannah talked to God about her sadness and asked for a son. God answered Hannah's prayer. Whatever we might be going through, we can talk to God about it. We can trust that God answers my prayers. Okay, Hannah praying for a son is a much bigger deal than hopscotch. But God hears all our prayers and God answers. I'm 
gonna give this course another go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now for this thing. Hey, I didn't fall. I did come off the course, so I didn't really finish it. But I didn't fall and bump my knee. That means when I try again, I know I can spin without falling and bumping my knee. That's awesome. Thank you, God. Thank you for answering my prayer. Friends, have you ever prayed for something like I did? Try it. God wants to hear from you. God cares about Hannah from the story, hopscotch, and everything in between. Okay, okay, I'm going again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here comes the spin. And ten. I did it. That was so much fun. I think I'm going to make a course for Jada to try when she comes to the playground. God, be with Jada when she tries this course I'm about to chalk up. I know you will because... God answers my prayers. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Peace out!